hello everyone so today i will explain something about uh, power automate okay so power automate is something related to the automation tools which is provided by microsoft so basically uh, we can automate our uh, several day to day functionality uh, which is uh, doing manually and using this automation we can uh, we can click on that particular button and uh, uh in in a in a second and that whole manual process will be customized in a single flow this is called the automation flow so for that uh, we will have a software called uh microsoft 365 okay so 365 is work like a umbrella under that we will have different softwares uh for example when you will uh, come under the 365 so for uh, 365 login you must have a microsoft account and that to be created so when you will login into the 365 you will have this app section and uh, in the app section when you will click on all app you will have the all uh, apps uh, which is available under 365 so currently uh, this is uh, two three apps is showing but uh, uh, you can add more apps which is already available so today i will explain something related to power automate let's come on the power automate panel so our scenario is for example you are a, a product on and owner and uh, you have just some offer and that you need to share with your existing customer which is already in your database so either you can send with the text message or you can go with email so today i will show you how you can uh, send uh, that offers or any other uh, information with your customer using single click or automated flow. Uh, so it is not required to send one by one. You can just have to be autom create automation flow and uh, with that uh, you can share with your uh, existing users. So let's come on that screen and uh, I will click uh, cloud flow so we will have different flow like cloud flow and uh, desktop flow so in some other video i will explain something about desktop flow how you can perform the automation on your desktop but currently i am doing the online activity for uh, sending the email to the existing users so we will click uh, create a cloud flow okay so for uh, testing purpose i have created a excel sheet which is already available in our google drive so so i have created a excel sheet and here you can see uh, the excel sheet where i have exported some of our users for the demo purpose so for example uh, i have the name email subject and text uh, headers uh, under the email we will have uh, whatever existing users uh, for our and <clears throat> product is already there uh, in email section and subject according to your understanding you can put the specific subject and the text i mean whatever body part you want to uh, send to your customer you can put here okay and the name so i mean you can increase this excel with according to your requirement okay so this is just for the demo purpose let's come on the power automator screen and here I will create a flow which will uh, send or trigger the email uh, whatever user already exists in your database. For that you will just go here and uh, you will have a predefined templates. Uh, this is the automated cloud flow. This is the instant cloud flow and schedule cloud flow. The purpose of automated is, I mean, uh, when any action is depend on another action so in this case you will uh, use that automated flow so for example uh, in any scenario when uh, you want to trigger a, a trigger a email when you got a text message or any notification so in this case you will use that automated flow schedule flow is as the name suggests if you want to trigger that particular flow on any specific of time okay so in this case you can use that uh, schedule flow but currently i will use a very basic flow called instant flow okay when i will click on that instant flow i will put a name any name according to your uh, requirement so i will put here 
send email send auto email okay and because uh, we are doing with manual trigger flow so i will click on that manual flow and we'll click, we'll click on create so here you will have a panel where uh, you can create uh, the whole flow of uh, that uh, email triggering functionality okay so now i will click on the new step so the first very first step will be to fetch whatever data is available in our excel file okay so let's come on data screen here i will search because our excel file is available in the google sheet google drive that's why i will search google sheet so here i have the google sheet and uh, here we required the rows from that sheet so i will click on rows here you need to communicate whatever location you have uh, in your google drive so when you will click on that uh, next arrow then uh, you will have uh, all file along with your uh, uh, sheet so i have this file to be communicated with our flows okay now uh, obviously uh, it might be possible that in that particular excel site you will have different sheet sheet one sheet two so you will need to select that particular uh, name of sheet so i have sheet one only here you can see the sheet one this name can be something different so uh, here you will get that particular name okay so now uh, the communication uh, for the data is done so this flow you can do with any other data connector as well either it is a microsoft sql server microsoft access and uh, mongodb rongodb any other data sources you can connect to fetch uh, the required data from that particular data source now once your data will be available then you will go for your next step so next step will be uh, controls i mean you need to put a condition that uh, you will send the email uh, to the ease of the rows ease of the email which, which is already available in your excel file okay so here once you will click on that so you will select record value okay so whatever value in your excel you will select the record value now the condition flow is uh, done you will need to click on the next action so here you will click on add action so the excel and data loading related functionality is already done now we will click on on email so we will set the gmail so that i will search gmail from here here i will click on email and uh, our next operation is to send email okay so i will click on send email and keep one thing in your mind so first time if you are not logged in uh, with your uh, email i mean source email so you must have to log in uh, for the uh, allowing permission for sending the email okay so the same thing you need to do with uh, uh, i mean at the time when i communicated with our google drive for google sheet so i must have uh, to be logged in with our google uh, account okay so i already have logged in that's why they are not asking to log in again okay now we'll come on the two so i mean the email uh, where i have to send so i will click on add dynamic content here you can see the email okay so the email is nothing but the email column of our excel file so i will just select that email in the two section another is subject so here you can write uh, any subject according to your requirement otherwise you already have the subject field as well in your actual so here you can see this is the subject field now uh, in the body here you can write your uh, the text that is required so hi name i will select a dynamic value called name 
hi name and here i already have this i mean text as well so either you can write the text from yourself here or you can select uh, from the actual dynamic variable as well so currently i already have that's why i will select the text now i will write here okay so that it's uh, currently i don't have any uh, i mean attachment so i will not do anything related to attachment otherwise uh, i can attach the file as well okay or any uh, specific email template as well okay so currently i don't have so that uh, i will accept this advanced functionality of uh, this particular action now uh, the everything looks okay so here our uh, data is first in this flow i mean in this action uh, after the condition i will able to send the email to the specific user which is available in the excel file now i will click on save button okay so our flow is saved successfully so for clear understanding here you can see we have these three flow now for testing this flow we will just click on that test here you can see uh, the automatic uh, radio button is uh, by default uh, disabled the reason behind is i already have selected the manual trigger uh, flow that's why manual is applicable right now so i will click on that manual flow and we'll click on test okay so now uh this tick uh action means uh, our google sheet is uh, successfully connected with our google drive and uh, gmail is also uh, validated with our uh, gmail account okay now i will click on continue and then we'll click on run flow so once i will click on run flow then done so here you can see your flow is running here the first is okay second is okay third is in progress i mean this is the send mail uh, action so the all three action looks okay i mean successfully executed here you can see your flow is successfully executed so now for checking the output i mean uh, this email to be triggered and here uh, you have noticed uh, previously uh, this section was not there i mean this id was not there once this uh, flow is running successfully then it is already created in your excel file so the first thing uh, you can see here and another thing is i will i will check in my uh, another email i mean i have two email and some other email of our team member so that i will check in this email that mail i got as a user that mail i got or not so here you can see that test robotic email i got and uh, if i will show you some another email so i will check here okay one minute okay so here you can see the robotic process automations this email comes before one minute so the same email i got in my email uh, personal email as well so and the email uh, got from uh, the email id okay so this is the flow that uh, i want to cover in this video so the purpose of this the quick recap of this video is uh, if you want to uh, send a bunch, I mean, uh, particular text or particular offers to your bunch of uh, users, which is already available in your database. So either you can connect uh, the data, your database or you can connect your Excel, uh, Microsoft Access, and uh, you can send uh, or uh, fire that particular email to the users. Okay, that's it. So if you feel uh, this video is looks helpful then please subscribe my channel and hit the like button okay uh, for the next video i will 
try to create some other flow related to booking functionality okay that it's thank you thanks for watching